Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to reveal about the recently added modifications to our, app, to our developer application. And in this video, I am going to reveal more about the plotting of left and right polarized components and acceleration. So quickly, we will move on with the left and right polarization component plotting. So I will start off with plotting the data available in HFSS. So here is the design file, it was a basic patch antenna for obtaining the circular polarization and I will try to plot this left and right polarization components at 2.39 GHz I will show you why I choose in those frequencies Yeah, here you can see the right, right hand circular polarization component being dominant compared to LHCP so we can say that the antenna is right hand circular blower, right hand circularly polarized and let us see the results in case of CST simulation this is a CST file and I will plot the data at 2.3975 GHz and left and right polarization components again now just press this button and see the results here too you got this same result without much deflection from the HFSS results and you can clearly say that the antenna is RHCP as the green curve is dominant compared to red curve and we will now plot the same thing on a rectangular plot with an addition of origin control too so now you will get the plot in the origin too simultaneously along with the MATLAB so just check this button and see the magic it will take quite some time to open the origin and plot the data as you can see in the message window over there the results are plotting in origin just it takes a while to open the application and load the data into origin so meanwhile I will tell you more about this choose sweep option if your data lies I mean your simulation data lies in multiple sweeps or in multiple setups you can choose whatever the setup you needed to get the data like if you have a setup 2 having sweep 2 then you will have a list of sweeps and setups and I will show you the feature too at the later point of time in this video and as you see over here the plot is created in origin 2 so let us quickly draw the polar plot in CST oh, sorry in, in origin 2 and just press this visualize pattern and I will close this finger as you can see in the background the LHCP and RHCP plot in origin also created simultaneously along with the trigger in the MATLAB and you can save this image to this by just using the controls provided over here I will choose the highest resolution available and just press this save graph thing the plot uh, the graph will automatically resize us to eliminate the extra border space that you can conveniently place that into a word or presentations and seems like it was showing an error just let me go through it once there is this graph and I will press this save graph thing again saving graph to the to disk okay seems like there is an issue I will reveal this thing about in the next video and two point now we will compare the data obtained in CST and HFSS by checking this compare button over here and I will select the plot mode as polar mode and just this, this compare button you can see over here the results are fetching from the HFSS and the results are fetched from CST and these are the result components LHCP and HFSS and CST, RHCP and CST and HFSS. 
now I will show you in origin two. This is the case in origin. You can save this graph to disk using any of the known methods for you. And these custom plot and normalization things are pretty much well known to you. For the sake of convenience in this video, I will show it again. First, the normalized gain thing. So you can see uh, the maximum as 0 dB. This is the normalized plot. And you can just move the legend to whatever position you feel comfortable. And one more thing that I would like to show you over here is acceleration comparison. Since the region of frequencies, I mean the range of frequencies in the HFSS and CST are not same, so I will see a difference in the frequency range. Let us quickly see it. The results are fetching from HFSS. It may take a while, so you need to be patient since. Acceleration components needs to be fetched from all of the these list of frequencies. It is quite acceptable to fetch those parameters. So the results are now fetching from CST for visualization. And soon it will be updated on your screen. I will just wait and watch. Seems okay. This is the case. Since the CST data spans from 2.2 to 2.7, you can see the blue curve over a very short span, whereas the red curve spans from 1.5 to 3.5 in HFSS. You can set these controls too. I will show you through custom plots and I will set the maximum of 0 to 5 with size of 1 and the x region will be 1.5 to 3.5 is size of 1.5 and the curve colors will remain same and I will select this plot mode once again to fill with the default inputs that were required for the error free operation in the application The results will be made available in a few moments. Results are fetching from CST. And it will be completed in a few moments. Again. see a very narrow amount a very narrow space of frequencies seems like there is an issue with the origin as the graph gets locked so we'll see we'll see it later but for now this is how you can get the data as you can see the Data is already loaded into origin, so you can quickly plot it. So do whatever the calculations or the manipulations in the column data. And the most anticipated feature, I feel, the most anticipated feature of this application, newly added feature in this application would be this CSV generator. I hope you will love this feature too. And I will change this value to some as parameter as parameter and this is application i mean this feature is mainly intended to convert the ascii files suppose i will show you an example ascii file for you yeah here it is and this is an uh, as parameters data obtained from cst for a multiport network and i will show you how the application will convert the data 
quickly into a CSV format. Just a moment. And I will also remove this multiple frequencies. And I will check this button. I mean, I will click this button, and this will prompt you to input the file. So I will go with the SPRL. So you can see over oh, here it was processing the text data and save the file CSV file with the name spar.csv. The same has been reported in the graph in the, in the GUI2 graphical user interface. So uh, I will show you the CSV file. This is it. This is a four port four port network. And you can see every label with a thousand rows of data. Since the thousand one points is the default sampling size for any simulation, the data was this simulation, I mean, the saved data and this saved CSV file contains thousand points. And we will quickly move on to another feature in the application. Yes, we generator so what if your file is in non-legacy format so i will show you an example for non-legacy so where it is yeah spr suppose if your data stays in this mode this is the non-legacy mode you can get it in the form of legacy or non-legacy by seeing over here in the post processing import and export plot data as key and when you click this button you can see legacy and i will call this currently displayed mode as the non-legacy and real and imaginary and magnitude of face so does my application too contains all these applications legacy non-legacy real and imaginary magnitude of face and these far field and far field cuts will be discussed in the later portion of this video and for now i will show you how the processes in the data this is a non legacy data so i will uncheck this remove duplicate text to show what the application is removing and give this file as input spl and spar since i didn't change this name it has overwritten the existing data and i will show you the what was not removed from the file you can see the multiple frequency columns this has been removed when you check the remove duplex so it will literally telling the your player i mean you are literally telling the application to remove these duplicate columns in the data so that you don't need to frustrate or you need to panic about the unnecessary data in your file and another date Another mode will be real and imaginary. Here is the case. I will change this file name. You will be having an additional data of impedance data too. In the case of real and imaginary exportation. Yeah. As you can see, S11 real part, S11 imaginary part, along with your reference impedance being to be exported to disk. And Coming to the application point, if you check this box, it will include those columns in the exported file. If you uncheck this, it will just simply discard those remo those points. For the sake of simplicity, I will check this remove duplicate X, and again I will input the data file, sprcrem, and here is our CSV file. As you can see. S11 RE, S11 RM, all these happen within a few seconds, like one or a couple of seconds it will take maximum. Since it is only a 4 port network, if it is 8 port or 10 port or 20 port, it will take considerable amount of time to convert the file, to convert the data. So for you understanding, now I will check this part. I mean, I will check this button to show you the variation and rename this file to C. And 
this again press this button and we put the file as you can see as parameters IMC it just includes the reference inference columns too since you set to the application so it will do that and reference inference reference inference that's it then going on to the magnitude of force is very much similar to this type of very much similar to the real and imaginary since in the place of real and imaginary data you will be having magnitude and phase of the s parameters in the exported file as you can see over the screen the file literally containing the same and i will just try to convert this into the magnitude plot i mean into csv format and just press this button again input it you can have your file in the disk since i said to application to keep these impedance columns it just kept them if you don't want your impedance columns just simply uncheck this box and again you file as input that's it see there is no impedance columns simply there will be only magnitude phase magnitude phase columns only and duplicate frequency columns are already deleted by the app itself and small fails it will it will be useful for you to convert the single frequency monitors like if you export the data from a far field like if you just want to export this file data 2.3975 in a cut line you can do so by using the post processing import and export option so i am now having a one such a file obtained by doing so this is the 2d far field data and this is a 3d far field data this contains a 3d monitor data and i will show you both being converted to a csv file the 3d one takes considerable amount of time since it contains one lakh lines or so in 2d coffee i will rename the file and 3d ff is the file i am going to input to the application and it take only less than a second since the file is containing only 360 columns i think and 360 rows so as you can see over this here in the screen these are the columns exported in the csv file the realized gain theta component phi component and x ratio so whatever the data lies in your text file that will be converted into the csv file and okay i will just move on with the 3d for affiliate too to show you the time taken it will be the time taken by the application will be significant since it contains more number of files as you can see the file size itself is 10 mb so there will be good amount of time to convert the data as you can see it was almost more than 10 seconds and i was hoping to finish it in another 10 seconds a total of it would be 20 seconds too I think yeah you can see the 3d ff file has been saved to this and this is the 3d for field data as you can see there is a huge amount of data and it is going on so i was just closing simply closing it and moving on to another feature quickly this for field cuts so this custom Control will enable you to select those columns of the data. So let me firstly show you the example of this far field cut data. This is the data you will obtain when you export the far fields from the cut planes. It seems far field cuts. Let me quickly evaluate it. I will just go with the phi zero. Phi zero. Okay. Well, no 
question step with two sleep hanging over one de five degrees so it will just quickly enumerate over all the far field monitors contained and we'll update the full recording meanwhile we will explore this text file so this is a file exported from one of the antennas and it contains the data ranging from 2 to 7 gigahertz i think and coming to our application you can say you can choose any number of columns from these eight columns present in this file so i am going with the one and three columns of the data and our field cuts is the file name i would like to give to my csv file and 2dffbd sorry 2dffb it was it will take around 30 seconds i think because it was a huge file too and we got our far field cut data i think yeah here is our pi equal to zero cut lens as you can see each and every frequency got plotted in the same column i mean in the same plot and this is the file and i mean this kind of plot you will be obtained in the output when you use this post processing import or export options for exporting the data and let us see this status of the application yeah the file has been saved to this with the name ff cuts we'll quickly see what data has been saved to file as you can see over here all the data ranging from 2 to 7 gigs i think 2 to 7 gigs has been saved to disk well the list goes on to 11 i think yeah it was 2 to 11 gigahertz sorry it contains 2 to 11 gigahertz and as you can see over here the columns are labeled with the names i mean with the frequency columns at the frequency level so that you can use this application for further post processing also and one more feature that you can obtain is the selective frequency since if you have a lot of frequencies like only from 2 to 20 gigahertz and you just want only 2.4 and 3.6 gigahertz frequencies so you will just list them out here and remember you need to be cautious when listing these frequencies because these application will search for the exact pattern in the input file and if it finds the corresponding data it will keep them in the output file otherwise it will simply put out an empty file to the disk so you need to be cautious while doing this i just need only third column of the data containing realized again components so i will again go with the 2effb file and just check on this button again it will check around 30 seconds i think to complete the task okay so the app is saying that there is none of these frequencies exist in the data so we'll just see whether the data is exported or not yeah it doesn't and let me see what are the frequencies existed 2.36 and 3.395 so for the example i am just inputting 2.36 3.395 since the application searches with the pattern that you enter over here you need to be careful I think this time it would work. Yeah, this file has been saved to disk. I think only two columns of data will exist in the output file. So as I said, there is only two columns corresponding to the third column of the realized com realized gain component, with the frequencies being sorted to 2.36 and 3.395 gigahertz. 
so you can say these two are a typical kind of filters that you are applying over a large amount of data first you are sorting out I mean you are filtering eight columns of data containing theta phi and realized gain or axial ratio and choosing whatever the column of data you need in and again you are filtering the data by selecting these frequencies and yeah that's it these are the features that I would like to demonstrate in the in this video so thanks for watching do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content bye for now guys